I asked you a question. What did you just put in that bag? Nothing. Sit. Okay, is it true that you knew that Star was going to run away with Cole and that you prevented her family from finding out? May I ask why? Star's like a sister to me and she needed my help. In order to run away? She thought she didn't have any other choice. You know, I really think... No, no. I really had hoped that when I moved you in here, when I made you a part of our family, that you would learn something. That there is always a choice. And that no matter what, no one, especially not a child, needs to be alone. Star doesn't think she's a child. Nonetheless, she is a minor. Who did what she thought she had to do? With your help. <sighs> Could it give me back? Excuse me? That's why you brought it up. Becoming my guardian. You're mad now and you want to give me back. It's, it's fine. I understand. <sighs> if anything happened to you, I would be as devastated as Blair is right this minute because you're irreplaceable. And I know that you find all of my rules and questions tedious, but really I'm just doing it to safeguard you. So I'm gonna ask you one more time. What'd you put in that bag? I told you, nothing. So I guess you wouldn't mind if I looked. No, go, go right ahead. Why? What's so important about this book? I think it's just... It's book. just... It's just a book about pregnancy. Fresh linens and a welcome to the Shore Six. Might as well get the party started. Oh, no, really. I have my soda. Thank you. You must look like a million bucks in a bikini. Yo, oh, no disrespect, dude. Um. I mean, if you guys are exclusive or whatever, it's cool. It's totally cool. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Right yeah. on. Right on. Look, really, all we came here to do is just make money. I'll give you guys two weeks. This place is like spring break on steroids. People hook up all over the place. Nobody cares. It's probably because we're always so blasted. <laughs> hey, come on. Seriously, live a little. No, really, I, I can't. Why not? Are you underage? Because I ain't going to bust you. I'm pregnant. Ooh, my bad. You forgot the Jimmy hat. Look, I ruined everything, OK? I had the Buchanan name on one side and love on the other, and I chose wrong. But before I made that choice, we had one perfect moment here under these stars. That moment's gone, Jared. Stars are gone. I, I know, I know. But I would give everything that I am to get that moment back. I can't. You made your choice. You're right. It's not up to me anymore. It's up to you. It's so beautiful out here, isn't it? Perfect place to be alone with someone you love. It doesn't get more perfect than this. Tell him. 
he was gonna find out sooner or later. Not for a while. Why are you so mad at me? I, ju I just, I don't think you should have told him, that's all. Okay, cool. Wait. I am the one who is pregnant, okay? I decide what to do. That's it, isn't it? What's it? You blame me for getting you pregnant. Why were you hiding this book from me? All right, look. We tried so hard to keep this quiet because... It's because Langston is pregnant. <sighs> Sure you want to do this? You're taking a real risk. It's worth it. So I walk in on my 16-year-old daughter naked in bed with her boyfriend, and I get there just in time to stop them. No, no. And it's my fault. You lose control. I wonder what you would have had you me lost do. Control. Hey, you know what? Hey guys, here's a couple pointers. Now you can really go for it. I'm done. Todd, I'm through with the crap. You're in the driver's seat, Natalie. And either we can go on this amazing adventure together, or you can drive off alone. But I am here. It's your call. 